Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Studios coming to you live, live from Bangkok, Thailand. Guys, a great time to be live. And we're going to be talking about OMG. Looks like the uh, Dogecoin developer and Elon Musk and Grok have some exciting, exciting news for Dogecoin. And that's one of the reasons why we're seeing that Dogecoin is pumping right now. So this is good news. Also, we're going to be talking about Shiba Inu. And it looks like Shiba Inu burn rate spiking like a crazy out there and i got my joe got my joe there's no go without the joe so if you're wondering what's going on with og i'm in bangkok right now i'm in bangkok uh till uh tuesday so if any of the peeps out there are in bangkokville send me a dm on twitter we can uh, get together have a coffee at starbucks i'm in i'm in the Hong Kong area in case you're wondering where i am guys it's a great time to be live so let's dive into content without any further delay remember remember and all this is financial advice go down there smash the freaking likes like crazy show some love 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 show some show some love guys uh go back and watch all my other videos i would appreciate it uh yesterday we did see that uh even though we had this debbie downer event from uh fed governor bowen who said uh, additional rate hikes could be needed omg debbie downer debbie downer whack whack on the head guys we did see that uh, the u.s markets were up considerably over one percent across the board so that is pretty positive out there so that is pretty positive we're seeing that uh, the dxy uh, did go up yesterday omg that's not good for uh, bitcoin but despite all of that uh we still have 24 days 17 hours for the next uh rate height fomc meeting decision and uh most mo mostly uh 95 percent saying it ain't gonna happen we're not gonna get a rate decrease uh we're gonna stay the same uh but uh looks like uh you know the fed the fed uh, what's her name debbie downer uh, bowman bowman debbie downer uh kick her in the, well she don't have nuts to kick but uh kick her in the nuts uh yeah she said additional rate hikes we don't need that that's gonna kill the economy it's gonna kill the economy so we're seeing 95 percent said it ain't gonna happen we're not gonna have rate decreases nothing big happening until uh until uh, next week uh next week we've got uh nothing much happening we've got uh yeah nothing big yeah we got bowman bowman spoke already get out of there bowman uh nothing happening cpi data should be coming out pretty soon but nothing big nothing big it's it's basically poop push matter announcement wise uh crypto wise crypto wise we're seeing that everything is up like crazy thank goodness for that uh bitcoin is over sixty nine thousand. we're going to be talking about a key level for sixty nine thousand dollars uh for bitcoin and why that's going to be so important why why now i don't know what's going on with solana solana has been having a lot of network outage problems now the solana developers have been like saying oh look it's all these meme coins that are being uh, made on solana out there uh and it's slowing the network congesting the network so they're gonna have to they're looking at uh, trying to fix it and create an upgrade out there now there's a there is a new uh dogecoin meme on solana called doges you have to use a soul flare to go and buy that just swap it uh check it out guys uh but uh we're seeing the dogecoin oh man gee dogecoin right now is going insane in freaking insane in the membrane and uh, we're seeing that dogecoin is at 19 19 cents that's up 6.36 uh, percent and a lot of it has to do with this uh dogecoin grok elon musk uh news uh, out there and the dogecoin developers are like yeah this is happening it's going to happen I'm giving a roadmap so guys check it out check it out uh we're going to get into that in a second look at dogecoin dogecoin right now like I said, it's up. It's at 19 cents. It's up. Uh, now it's up 7.3% uh, in the last hour. 3.6%. Looking pretty good. Hopefully, we keep on keeping going. Uh, we're going to see that Dogecoin will hit 30 cents. And I believe, I believe, if we keep this momentum going, that Dogecoin will definitely, definitely be 30 cents uh, after the halving. After the halving, a halving event. Let me get some Joe. There's no go without the Joe. Look at these beautiful buildings out there. This is, uh, in case you're wondering what that is, right over there, and get my point them out of that. That is the uh, Im Imperium, M, M Quartier, M Quartier, M Quartier uh, out here in From Frong, guys. So that's where I am. Uh, so get it, get it, get it. So yeah, things are looking pretty good. Crypto bubbles. I love it, guys. It looks like we're having a positive Sunday, and I just pump it up Sunday. We're seeing fear and greed is at 78. Lovely jubbly. Uh, let's take a look at the crypto markets right now. So crypto markets, we're seeing the Bitcoin uh, dollars is starting to rise. So rising higher and higher. So that is pretty good uh, out there. So overall, we are seeing that the Bitcoin is up. Good. Ethereum is up uh, as well. So hopefully we'll start to uh, eliminate all of these uh, all of these negativities, all these downsides. Uh, 
Solana is up despite having some network problems. I mean, I was on the Soul Soul Flare uh, this morning, and I was trying to buy some uh, this uh, Doges, Doges, D O G E S uh, on the, on uh, the Solana blockchain, and it's just not it's just not happening. And uh, then I tried to buy. Uh, uh, you know some other other meme coins out there. Just you know, remember meme coins highly speculative, high risk, high reward. But you could also lose your shirt, so just keep that in mind. So yeah, I did try to buy some Joseph, but uh, yeah, Solana's Solana's uh, blockchain is just congested. But keep trying, keep trying. Uh, we're seeing that uh, XRP is up as well. Doge blasting off, guys, seven percent. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to dive into that. I'm going to tell you why that's happening. Uh, we're still in the number eight spot, so that is good. Shiba Inu is also uh, seeing uh, it price going up. We're seeing that there's a whole burn rate for Shiba Inu is going up. We're going to talk about that. And some are speculating that we can take this uh, last number here after all these freaking zeros and turn that into an eight pretty soon. So that would be that would be luscious, luscious. We're seeing that the uh, total market cap for mean coins right now is up a little bit, 3.34%, $59 billion, 596 out there. Uh, looks like Dogecoin is leading the pack out there. Uh, Shiba Inu, uh, is the number the number second biggest meme coin, right? Uh, we got uh, uh, Whiff, Whiff, the Pepster, Floki, Floki has risen from the ashes, risen from death out there. We got the bunk. Uh, now I, I I need to be a full disclosure. Okay, I'm holding I'm holding some pep, a little like a touch, like a like a touch, a titty chatty of pep. Uh, I got some Floki that I bought as a jokey uh, almost two years ago. Uh, I, I forgot about it. I even had to go find out where it was. I found out that it was on my Tracer, uh, Tracer Harbor Wallet. Now, I own a little bit of Bonkster. I bought Bonkster like a week ago, so I bought some Bonkster. And I'm also, also got a little bit of this one. A little, uh, this one, Doges, Doges, where are you? Doges on Solana. Also got a little bit of this one as well. So, yeah, this has been having a hard time uh for a while but hopefully he'll, he'll pick up uh so i digest I, I digress digress so if we take a look at the bitcoin treasures right now we can see that etfs now consume still 4.88 percent now something negative negative about the uh about the etfs we're going to talk about in a second 13 days to the next halving out there bitcoin right now q2 is down 4.27 percent, but it, we're recovering up right uh ethereum is down as well but overall i think yeah we have one bad day we're seeing that a lot of the uh, with la lack of volatility uh, for most cryptos because the halving, the halving is coming, the halving, the halving is coming. So that is why that's happening out there, guys. So if you take a look at the ETFs, uh, we're seeing that right now the net flow for ETFs has been uh, negative. So the net flow for ETFs is negative right now. Uh, that is not good. That is updated uh, 2, 0240405. So we're in Sunday now. One of the reasons we're seeing a Bitcoin going up is because the uh, the negative outflow, it's not affecting because ETFs only trade. ETFs only trade uh, during normal um, broader markets are open. So that's what happened. You can see that is one of the reasons why we had a negative, uh, negative flows uh, in terms of dollar value uh, out there for a Bitcoin guy. So you know not not looking good not looking good but uh yeah let's see let's see daily etf flow dollar wise bush matter bush matter but bitcoin wise that's still positive still positive we're seeing that uh, uh, uh gbtc had a huge uh outflow as well so not good not good out there so yeah this is from uh, seth he's saying bitcoin 2021 cycle had massive black swan this cycle if there's no ww3 or other BS, expect a massive bull run, guys. We've seen the monthly TSI should get us and revisit 85,000, guys. Uh, so he's saying, Seth is saying, look, you know, 200K, 350K, it's not unrealistic, guys. It's not unrealistic. That's why I ain't selling in my Bitcoin. I am ain't, I, I ain't, I'm not selling anything out there. So I'm, I'm holding, guys. I'm holding. Uh, you know, I, I believe that, you know, this little hiccup is just a pre-having bump, guys, pre-having bump. You know, if you're getting itchy and you're getting sticky, come on, relax. Take take a spritzer already. Relax out there. Got to get my coffee. Did you know, did you know that, and this is coming from Glassnode, 
reveals that approximately 1.876 billion Bitcoin, or 9.5% of the total supply, has been acquired above $60,000. So, guys, yeah, even though Bitcoin is, uh, you know, above 60, 69,000 right now, we did see that people still have a, an appetite for, for Bitcoin at 60,000, guys. So it's good. It's good. Uh, Bitcoin is going to need a daily candle or clo above 69,000 level if it wants to position itself for a bullish weekly candle. So right now, right now, we're seeing that Bitcoin, Bitcoin, my bitty, my itty bitty is still above that. So I'm confident that we can probably close uh, our weekly candle in the green. So that is going to be good. Don't forget, we got this big, big freaking, big freaking, big uh, Dogecoin news. And also, too, we need to talk about uh, Shiba Inu, what's going on with this huge burn rate. Now, we need to talk about Bitcoin because Bitcoin is going to determine the trajectory of most of the crypto. So that's what we're talking about. So don't start whinging and whining at home in YouTube land. Let's get to the, let's get to the no Dogecoin news. Well, if you want, you can skip ahead, okay? Don't forget to subscribe, YB. And if you have come this far, thank you, thank you. Go down there. Don't forget, hey, if you got some, uh, you've got some extra Dogecoin you want to send our way, tippy jar down there. I appreciate it. Bitcoin is going to follow this path to insane, insane target, insane target. Uh, I gave the blueprint in past uh, October. This is from Titan of Titan of Crypto. And he's saying that look, we're gonna follow this this you know this wave pattern here, and definitely we are gonna hit uh, three hundred forty thousand uh, dollars. And he's saying that once we hit three hundred forty thousand, then we could go back down to you know sixty seven. Remember, it's four year cycle, right? We have the you know we had the normally a blow off top, and then things settle back down. Uh, so he's saying that uh, according to this, our low level for Bitcoin could be sixty seven thousand dollars. Oh yeah. Looking pretty good. Uh, don't get fooled. Bitcoin is still trading in a large uptrend and just broke the uh, above the crucial weekly resistance. So that is pretty good. Uh, so guys, zoom out. Wendy Trendy is your friendy. Let's take a look. What's going on with uh, uh, Bitcoin? Blah, 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 Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is just just at sixty nine thousand two. It's still got this open funnel uh, pattern, which I think we're going to respect. I think we're going to respect it all the way to here and then continue going on. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, Ethereum is also looking pretty good as well out there. Overall, crypto is doing good. Uh, as I said, most of cryptos are up right now. That is positive, positive, positive. Uh, so I'm loving it. Dogecoin right now. Let me give this a minty refresh. Minty refresh. Minty refresh out there. So Dogecoin right now, according to a Binance chart, we're at 19, uh, 19 cents. That is pretty good. Things are lovely, jubbly out there for uh, Dogecoin. Dogecoin is looking pretty good. And guys, if you got your crypto on sales like exchange, get it the freak off there. Get my now ledger. The the link is down there. So I did uh, you know chart this open open ended like, kind of like funnel pan. Dogecoin is respecting that. It looks like our next stop is going to be twenty cents because we're like midway between the channel now. I don't think we have any resistance coming. It's looking pretty good. Uh, I believe, as I said, this is a huge load up zone right here. We should be loading up uh, at this zone level. And, you know, we may have another bounce to the downside a little bit. But I think once that's done, this, you know, once pre having is done, we're pumping, guys. We're pumping like crazy. Uh, we're seeing right now that Dogecoin is up 7.15%. And that's uh, fantastic, guys. Uh, you know, it was like 18 cents when I woke up. Uh, where's probably og effect guys maybe it's a bangkok effect i don't know but doge is looking pretty good right now doge is looking pretty good 88 percent of all holders are in the money that is cool beans now get this let's get into this this is huge doge developer drops key clarity on elon musk grox ai's dogecoin freaking revolution and i did talk about it yesterday uh, i did talk about it on twitter yesterday i did post it the spotlight has again turned to Dogecoin in the wake of a Grok AI revolution regarding Radio Doge. Okay, the project focuses on bringing the Doge ecosystem to a ready state for rapid grassroots adoption. Now, if you guys remember, Radio Doge was about basically having like line of sight radios uh, that would go to two developing countries where there's not a lot of internet. And then this would go to a, an uplink and then people have access to the Dogecoin 
ecosystem. To put things in context, the Doge community's attention was drawn to a Grok Air post that claimed that SpaceX was launching Dogecoin nodes into space attached to Starlight, Starlink satellites to extend the reach of the Dogecoin network to remote re regions where traditional internet infrastructure is not available. This initiative is claimed was part of the Dogecoin radio project. Now remember, Elon Musk has been talking about Starlink being deployed globally and uh, particularly to allow people in remote areas in remote areas to have access to the internet. So with Elon Musk's uh, love of douche, it would make sense that they would do this Radio Joe's. So so just so everyone is aware, this is a this is an AI bot that writes stuff. You ask it and it and and it isn't something anyone should use as a source. In this case, a bot describes Radio Doge uh, a little bit incorrectly, but while using a few relevant words, Radio Doge is a terrestrial network for now. Okay, and this is from and this is uh, what uh, the Dogecoin developers said. So Elon Musk's engagement in, with Dogecoin has contributed significantly to the cryptocurrency's popularity as a result of the affiliation of posts by Elon Musk's own artificial intelligence chatbot Grok seem to command attention. Amid speculative excitement, Dogecoin core developer uh, Michi points out some discrepancies in the facts between Grok and Radio. So, yeah, the, the, the AI got it, uh, you know, missed it a little bit. But Radio Doge, uh, Dogecoin Foundation program uh, aimed at Doge grassroots adoption, focuses on using cheap, reliable radio technology. This is a high-frequency, low-band radio combined with global uh, Starlink satellite network to enable cheaply deployable, wild-scale access to Dogecoin for people outside the reach of traditional Internet. In 2023, the Radio Doge achieved a big milestone by facilitating the first Dogecoin transaction without the internet. So this is pretty good, guys. So this is this is this is one of the reasons. So uh, basically, more great news for Dogecoin. Do we have Starlink nodes for Doge? And uh, Grok said yes. There are Starlink uh, Doge nodes available, as mentioned in the information provided. There are 25 Starlink Dogecoin nodes. These nodes play a crucial role in supporting the Dogecoin network by confirming transactions and maintaining network security. Wow. So yeah, Grok is talking about it, guys. Grok is talking about. We're also seeing Dogecoin Wales takes 52.3 million Doge in Doge off Binance. This is a huge sign of buying, guys. So this is pretty, pretty positive news out there. Positive, 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 positive news. What else is coming in? Uh, why is Dogecoin price up today? Well, it's freaking up right now. Dogecoin price is up right now. It's at 19 right now. And one of the reasons it's up is because dogecoin price uh rally today's mirrors bullish move across the top ranking mean coins we're seeing most of the mean coins are up that's one reason and also because of the grok ai and all that stuff that's going on so in case you missed it dogecoin will do this i guarantee it and then and then yesterday i did talk about it i let me just get to the post here let me show you uh this we just talked about i did talk about this yesterday before i was getting on a flight to bangkok this is this this is the OG OG uh, in Bangkok. Come to you live from Bangkok Airport, guys. Uh, looks like uh, just landed. Into... So where's this post? Where's the post? Where's the post? Where's it? so here? Can I send and receive Doge on X? Yes. Uh, yeah. This was it. This was good news. Uh, we got seventeen thousand uh, views on this post. Hey, Dogecoin family, this is good news. SpaceX is launching Dogecoin nodes into space attached to Starlink satellites to extend the reach of Dogecoin network to remote regions uh, where traditional internet infrastructure are available. This initiative is part of the Radio uh, Doge project. So this is what Grok said. This is, and we had seventeen thousand people talk, uh, jump on. The, I'll jump on this post. So that is pretty good uh, out there. So that is one of the reasons why Dogecoin is pumping, guys. And, and when it comes to Dogecoin, all you got to do is do this now. Do this now. Buy Doge, hollow Doge, talk about Doge. Get talking about Doge, guys. Get it, get it, get it. Uh, yeah, this is that post, right? Talked about it. Uh, what else? Let's take a look at Shibi, Shibi Weeby right now. So Shibi Weeby is up. Uh, let me give this a minty refresh. Minty refresh, subscribe. Love the channel. Doge is up right now. Uh, Shiba Inu is up right now, 1.54%. And it's got uh, four zeros, two, seven, eight, six, three. That's up right now. And one of the big catalysts that we're seeing for Dogecoin right now is that we're seeing that sh uh, Shib D Shiba. I keep saying, I keep saying Doge. I got Doge on the brain. Bonk, bonk on my head. Shiba, you know, large transaction spike over 1,000 as well as ready to drive the price to 0, 0 0.8. 
So what's going on? So it looks like we have uh, new whales. Wow, this is amazing. Anyone, do you know where we can see instant prepared cards without KOC in 200 countries? Ooh. So it looks like Shiba Inu has constantly seen an increase in the number of whales uh, holding Shib throughout its history. The recent accumulation by three new wallets were noted on social media by on-chain uh, transaction tracker, the data nerd during the week, uh, who shared screenshots. And it looks like they uh, acquired $2 million worth of Shiba Inu from uh, Coinbase. So that is pretty good. So we could maybe see that uh, this new uh, affinity, this new attraction for Dogecoin, for Shiba Inu, could push it up to 008. So that would be whopping good. So we're seeing that not only for Shiba Inu, but also Dogecoin, more whales are accumulating, guys. So that is pretty, pretty cool, right? So guys, that's going to bring this video to a closey, woozy, woozy. Uh, right now, we've got, uh, we're getting pretty close to 14,000 uh, followers. So I appreciate it, guys. So be blessed. Uh, be well. I'm going out there. Uh, I'm going to explore Bangkok today. And that's going to be fantastic, guys. So I'll see you in the freaking next one. I'm going to be making some short videos from different locales here in Bangkok, guys. So once again, if you are in Bangkok, DM me on X, Twitter, whatever. And we can get together for a coffee at Starbucks. Okay, so I love you. I'll see you next one. Peace out.